January 2020. A new decade starts with a turbulence even for the world's most iconic institutions, such as the royal family of Great Britain. Their royal highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, also known as Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, decide to step back as senior members of the royal family to basically pursue their own life. The life without the Queen, ever-present media, and royal duties. But wait, isn't everybody's dream to become members of the royal family? All those luxury palaces, expensive cars and clothes, fancy lifestyle. Why would anybody want to voluntarily step back from that? Bear with us as we'll explain what's going on here, why we believe it happened, and what's next. To start off, we're going to take a look at the two historic events to put things into perspective for you. Number one. December 11th, 1936. Edward VIII, the reigning king of Great Britain, abdicates, mainly because he desperately wants to marry an American divorcee, Wallace Simpson. See, in Great Britain, the king is also the title head of the church, which at the time disapproved of remarriage after a divorcee if a former spouse was still alive. Number two, August 31st, 1997. Princess Diana, Harry's mother, dies in a car accident in Paris, being chased by paparazzi. Walking behind his mother's coffin on the funeral ceremony, Harry, who's just an 11-year-old boy, is learning the hard way about how cruel the media can be and how it can impose a real threat to the lives of his loved ones. Now, let's take a closer look at Harry and Meghan. Wait, not that close. Let's leave the microscopes for the tabloids. Okay, that's better. So, Harry falls in love with Meghan, who is a divorcee, and American, and an actress who took part in multiple love scenes, and whose mother is black. Well, so what, right? For a modern-day couple, that's just like no big deal. But the royals and the British media, okay, mainly the media, sees the world from a different angle. While Queen Elizabeth II is welcoming Meghan to the family, a perfect media storm's already out of control. The tabloids are questioning Meghan's ethnicity, her unsuccessful marriage, tough relationships with her father, feministic mindset, the way she used to be kissing on camera, the way she smiles, the way she waves her hand. This list can go forever. Meanwhile, Harry's having a deja vu moment. He's already seen the same ruthless storm leading to the death of his mother, and he knows for sure that there have been brave guys like Edward VIII who put his personal life and relationships above his kingdom. Speaking about the kingdom for a second, unlike his older brother William, Harry most likely will never become the king, as he's currently number six in the row. Is he an important royal family member, part of the royal brand? Oh, for sure. Does Britain's future depend on him? Is he the next king? Not really. So in early January of 2020, Harry and Meghan are making an announcement that they will be stepping back from their royal duties. Here are the consequences for them. They now owe 2.5 million pounds to the Queen for remodeling of the Frogmore Cottage, which has been their royal home. The remodeling was apparently funded by public money. They will no longer represent the Queen, and Harry will give up all his military titles. They will also lose their Royal Highnesses titles. Oh, and by the way, people will no longer need to bow their heads to them. Well, this doesn't sound like stepping back, it's stepping away entirely. But what is it all for? What's their plan? We know for sure from the couple's own words that they're going to be dividing their time equally between Canada and the UK. They trademarked the name Sussex Royal to become financially independent and launch their own brand or foundation. They'll be free from royal duties. They can live, travel, be whatever they want, see whatever they want. Total freedom that Harry and Meghan have been dreaming about. Some analysts are saying that Harry and Meghan are being inspired by Barack and Michelle Obama, whose foundation's raising over $250 million every year, and they're able to fund projects strengthening the Commonwealth and protecting the environment. Speaking about the money, even though the press is saying, oh, they're giving up access to public money, in reality, they're only giving up 5% of their income. Yes, just 5%. Make no mistake about it, the remaining 95% will be still coming through the private wealth of the royals, which is primarily real estate all over the UK. So Harry and Meghan will be fine for sure. For Harry though, 
the main priority is to obviously avoid the same powerful forces that led to his mother's death. It's certainly a bold move, the one that will make its way to the history books. But there's no guarantee that this move will not draw even more attention to their private lives by the press. Time will show if Harry and Meghan succeed in their challenging endeavor or not, but their story certainly proves that there are things in life that are worth chasing beyond fancy lifestyle. This is the story of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, members of the British royal family, stepping away from their royal duties. This is how it was. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that notification bell and you won't miss the new episodes.